Hello, welcome to another edition of, I'm sorry, another segment of Dumb Laws by State. We are moving into episode, Jesus, seven. segment number seven. <laughs> I should probably just call it episode because I guess it is, but we'll just call it segment number seven. We've covered many, many states, and if you have not been watching the series, uh, watch our previous videos. We've got a handful, 10 or 12 states under our belt so far. And tonight we're going to cover uh, Alaska and uh, North Dakota. And since they're both like cold as fuck during the winter time, we thought we'd wear our proper apparel. As you can see, it's snowing at the moment. I mean, hey, what more can you expect from a video about Alaska or North Dakota, especially my not North Dakota cold as shit. Anyway, so uh, we're going to start out with the uh, first dumb law. Okay. And here we go. Moose may not be viewed from an airplane. Huh. That seems a little odd. I mean, if you're in an airplane and you're looking out the window and you glance down and see a moose and nobody sees you see the moose through the airplane window via ground control with some guy with a fucking uh, telephoto lens or a camera or something looking up at you, you know, fuck them. If I want to look at a moose from an airplane, that's my business. And mister, if you're on the ground trying to film through an airplane window to see if somebody's looking at mooses or meeses through an airplane window, you got too much time on your hands and I hope you fucking freeze to death. <laughs> okay, my... Next. <laughs> it's considered an offense to push a live moose from an airplane. You know, <laughs> I've never met a moose I didn't like. And... Me and that moose would have to come to a really negative reality for me to form such hatred towards said moose to push him out. I just I just don't think that I could do it. But hey, if if it happens, and you know, obviously the law would not have been made if it didn't happen. But if it happened, whoever did that, if you're still in jail, you need to get over your animosity towards mooses. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Haynes County. A person may only carry a concealed slingshot if that person has received the appropriate license. Ooh, concealed slingshot. Now we're getting serious. <laughs> hey, dude. Don't fuck with me, okay? Because I got a concealed carry license for a slingshot. And I'm thinking about any kind of reaction from the other party being told this, going, Ooh, oh God, he's got a slingshot. Run for your lives, he's got a slingshot. That's how, um, Oh my and... goodness, I just cannot believe that that's a reality. I just can't. Uh, all right, Okay, well. um, on to the next one. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Janu? Alaska County? Janu, okay. Janu County? Janu, Janu. Owners of, a uh, owners of flamingos may not let their pet into barber shops. Okay, bear in mind, this is Alaska. <laughs> if any of you motherfuckers have a flamingo for a pet there, I think you are out of your fucking mind. That's like, that's like taking a polar bear to Florida. You know? That's just not right at all, in all levels. All levels. I just don't think that that should be any kind of a law, because you, you people up there should not have flamingos, unless they're the plastic ones made in China. <laughs> okay, that's it on the Alaska one. All right, so that, <laughs> that's the best we could find for Alaska, and uh, we're going to move on to North Dakota. Uh, give us a sec for our freeze frame edit technique. Okay, <laughs> we're back. Alright, now we're moving on to North Dakota, and there's only a handful of them. And uh, so, here we go. <laughs> okay, um, 
It is illegal to lie down and fall asleep with your shoes on. <laughs> Shit, because that's what I always think about before going to sleep. And obviously, if you're falling asleep with your shoes on, you're in a public place, which would make you a vagrant, which is a term that means doing a whole lot of nothing. Well, yeah, if you're sleeping, you're not doing a whole lot. Anyway, uh, that's that's kind of stupid. I mean, maybe you don't like bugs, you know? I mean, if you got your shoes on, at least bugs can't get in your, between your toes. I'm sure there's a strong argument for this for this law. But, uh, yeah, if you want to sleep with your shoes on, go for it. You know? That's what I say. <laughs> okay. Um, beer and pretzels can't be served at the same time in any bar or restaurant. And there's probably a handful of people out there that just like pretzels and don't drink. Dude, I'm here for the pretzels, man. Okay? And there's a guy over there drinking beer. Can you tell him to please stop drinking his beer so I can eat my fucking pretzels? <laughs> and on the flip side... Dude, I'm enjoying my fucking beer. And there's a, some danky ass some bitch over there in the corner. He's eating pretzels. I want to finish my beer. Most votes would be in favor for finishing the beer, right? If you want pretzels, go to fucking Safeway or Costco or you know somewhere else and buy your own pretzels. Because if you're in a bar and people are drinking beer and Everybody stops drinking beer so people can eat pretzels. That's just kind of stupid to me. Mm, dumb. It's a dumb law. Just like all the others that we've covered. <laughs> all right. Next. Okay. Um, <clears throat> God, it's still snowing. <laughs> Devil's Lake. New Year's celebrations are somewhat bland in this town as fireworks might not be set off after 11 p.m. Doing. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, man. You can't even bring in the New Year with fireworks after 11 o'clock? You fuckers are fucking boring, man. I mean, <laughs> come on. Everybody does that, right? I mean, I thought everybody did that. I'm sure they probably still do, regardless. Well, this is an old law, but still, uh, something bad must have happened. Like, Henry's barn got burned down and all his cows died or something. <laughs> out in the sticks somewhere, or... Uh, I don't know. You be the judge. I actually have one more, so we can even this out. Oh, well, we got one more. Uh, Fargo. In um, Fargo, North Dakota. North Dakota. One may be jailed for wearing a hat while dancing, or even for wearing a hat to a function where dancing is taking place. And that's just about as stupid as the wearing shoes while falling asleep. <laughs> wow, that guy's a really good dancer. God, he's good. Look at the moves on him. Wait! <coughs> he's got a hat! <coughs> he's got a hat! Somebody, somebody call the authorities. He's dancing like John Travolta, and he's got a hat. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, wow. What happened there? I don't know. People, some, somebody just didn't like hats. I guess. I got a hat on. I got a hat on. I got a hat on. <laughs> and I'm dancing. Dancing night <laughs> away. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to cover it, I guess, for uh, Alaska and North Dakota. Uh, we didn't have any requests or any solid, firm basis of requests for the last Come round uh, that we did. So we'll just continue to hand-pick them. Unless you guys have some that you really want us to cover, we will uh, take that from there. Oh, yeah, and leave your comments down here. Down below. Because that's where they go. <laughs> if you think it, type it. Say it. If you think of something, say something. Wait, that kind of sounds like 
Homeland see some security things stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, thanks for watching. And as always, this is Devshan Productions Incorporated, hosted by me, Skystreak. Peace. And we're out.